OK, the Cattery last night, it was the grand final rematch and uh, it was in more ways than one because yet again it was a mismatch as they unfurled the flag. And, uh, well, who knows, they might be doing this again in 12 months' time. Well, judged on last night's performance, uh, they started slowly, as we know. Players like Tom Hawkins were a little bit underdone, but they've managed him and he's all of a sudden been the spark. Kick five yesterday. That man on screen, Dangerfield, thought he was close to the best man on the ground and he looks renewed as well. So there are a lot of people talking about the Cats in the first couple of rounds and all of a sudden they are where they belong and they fired again against Sydney, smashed them around the stoppages and Jeremy Cameron, best player in the competition we saw last night again. Hey Nathan, I was one of those guys talking about Geelong and the concerns for them and I even used the Dennis Pagan term, don't let that medal strangle your son because a few of them just weren't, weren't working as hard <laughs> as they need to be. But last night it changed, you know, I think that was their best performance and I must admit though, Sydney are not at their best and have a lot of players out. But this is the type of thing I'm talking about. Brad Close could easily just stop here and just go, it's out of my area, I'm going to give up. But efforts like this inspire others. And Brad Close is inspiring others with the way he's working and plays a team role. Gary Rowan, when he's in energetic moments like this and tearing your part, he's great. And I want to show just how off Sydney were. What's Lloyd doing? Picking up the ball, giving it back that quickly and then the ball just pops over the top. That's how yeah. far off Sydney were in their performance last night. And talk about work rate. This is these two again. That's close, and that's Lloyd uh, at the fall of the ball. One wants to work and one doesn't. So this is Geelong, what they weren't doing in the first round. This is Brad Close and Jake Lloyd. Lloyd, no touch whatsoever. Uh, Brad Close gets forward to the footy. But this is where it started, TJ. Players play back playing their roles again and the midfield back to their best. Yeah, their midfield, speaking of which, Lord, they were devastating in that game last night. Nine goals to one from stoppage. So when Sydney lose, they lose badly in and around the midfield. And that's to say that there was no Geelong Ruckman. So Stanley wasn't there, Segler wasn't there. I thought Blixarves was great. De Koning also went in the ruck. We'll speak about Dangerfield later on, but his ball used to win at 80% by foot and had massive numbers. And then on the end of it were the forwards. There was 14 marks to four inside 50. It was a devastating performance. Geelong now back in the eight with eight games still to come. Are, are you convinced though, Kane, given, given that the wins have come against Hawthorne and West Coast, which will, let's face it, be bottom two or three, and also a very depleted Sydney that side? Was, that was as uh, commanding a performance as any side. So, so they're now back year. to 20, well, not, 22 not levels? Well, not fully back, but they, they've turned the corner. Like Hawkins was going dreadfully. He's worked his way back into fitness and form. Their midfield was back, and there's still some players to come back into the side. Lordo, uh, six rounds in. Uh, are, we, are we expected to see Jezza go on atop the ton? Well, it's exciting, isn't it? Because uh, the, the, the thing is, they're getting better. And the, uh, this is just a, a graphic of where guys tracked at this round to make it to 100 goals. And that was... Uh, so he's, he's in the mix already. So he's got to keep up this pace. You'd think he'd need a 10 somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, you, you need that at some point, whether he can get that. But the positive is they've got eight, eight games left at Geelong. So that's where they just destroy teams there. So maybe one of those games we might need to see him kick. You had the Asterix in 2001. The Asterix was there. You kicked it in finals, I believe. Uh, Brandy, <laughs> I know you're setting me up because yeah. you know full well that I did in 20 games. <laughs> I'll suspend it for three or four. So thanks, thanks for clearing that up. And the bonus he, <laughs> Jeremy's got too, Lotto, for the first time there's 23 matches within the away season as well, obviously. Yeah. So, yeah, extra game. Um, John Longmire last night. Now, 81 points loss in the grand final, 93 last night. And he realises that no one is going to be judging them um, leniently. In the end, it doesn't matter. You, you, the game doesn't care. You've you got to compete. And whether, you, whether you're not old enough or you compete with the opposition or you're not big enough or strong enough, the game, the game doesn't care. You've got to be able to, you've got to, be able to get to the level that's, that the game requires, that the opposition demand. And that's where we fell short. Yeah, John Longmire there. Can I just ask, uh, so the Sydney Swans, what's the narrative this morning? Is it the fact they do have a personnel problem or are they haunted by Geelong? It's a great question. Uh, it is because, look, not having Rampy or the McCartans down back is, is clearly an issue. But the fact now that uh, if you combine those two results um, in the last two matches mm. they've played, uh, they're not going to get near the Cats mentally, are they? Uh, I, I think it's mm. a great question. The, the wins this year have come against Gold Coast, who was 16th, Hawthorne 18th and Richmond are 15th. So they and haven't beaten any quality. No, and they're embarrassing TJ against Melbourne on the MCG. Yeah. So it's not just yeah, it's not just what's going on. This is this is also how bad their foot skills are. So 
Their, their back line, though, that, that was, that's as bad a back line as you're ever going to get. There was players playing in some roles that should never, ever have to play there. You know, Gould was playing on Tom Hawkins. That was like a guy totally out of his depth. Uh, it was a Callum Mill started on Tom Hawkins. That Fox, will never, ever happen again. Fox on Cameron. Fox like. on Cameron. I know he did in, in the grand final. But you know, it's this sort of stuff that their turnovers, the ease, their midfield was still there. But they were embarrassing. Uh, the forward line, Logan McDonald had five touches. So that's why you wouldn't want to give them a total out, TJ, for how poor they are. And, and to be honest, they, you can't be trust, trust them against the big sides in the big games.